For lunch. Okay. Then I get called to handle some emergency. Then my plan B, the caterer, gets hopelessly stuck Stop somewhere. In front of me. What? Then I call hubby and he says, What? What are we going to do? Relax, we got this. No, we don't. Now it's up to me and him to save the day. Uh, you okay? Uh, With help from something special, the new Ninja pot seasoning from Nike. Specially made from natural stuffed fish, smoked fish, crayfish, and other ingredients to give your soups and pottages that Nigerian bottom pot taste. Mmm. You need to tell me how you got that bottom pot taste. And then later she says, Come see me Monday morning. Let's talk about the new branch we're opening. Just then my plan B shows up. And just when I thought the drama was over. Ah, my sister, let's go to do this. Delicious bottom pot, yeah. Welcome back. If you're just joining us, it's still your favorite show on your number one television station, Standard TV. Before I went on that break, I did tell you that today on Societal Matters, we'll be discussing discrepancies in names on documents, as well as change of names and all the processes that involve change of names. To discuss this with me in the studio, I have um, Dr. Gala Sunday, He's a lecturer in the language department of Federal Polytechnic in Niger State. He has been teaching use of English and communication in English for almost two decades now. He is a member of many professional and academic associations. He has published many scholarly articles in many journals. Dr. Gandler holds a Bachelor and Arts in English Language from Ahmad Bello University of Zaria, a Master of Communication Arts from University of Ibadan, and a PhD in English Language. Dr. Gana Sode, so you're welcome to the show. Thank you very much. Okay. So I said we'll be um, talking on um, discrepancies in names as well as um, change of names on documents. But first of all, we would like to we would like you to tell us what is your take on what are the factors that bring about discrepancies in names on documents? Well, in the first place, uh, there are certain factors that necessitates change of name because we know as a matter of fact that once a child is born such a child is given a name but certain factors could necessitate change of name for example girls once they get married will have to change their home may need to change their name number two uh, there are some people who by maybe change in ideology, change in religion, who also want to change their name to reflect their current belief. Remember that sometimes they go in this country when the idea of nationalism and uh, was being preached. People had uh, English names all over. Or uh, when changing their names, they want to be a change names that reflect their culture and whatever. There are also sometimes uh, people who have somebody else's, uses somebody else's, uh, maybe somebody else's field 
a form for them using their own name and they got admission to school with such a person's name. By the time they get to school, they want to change it back to their name. Uh, 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 in the early days, when we were young, we discovered that maybe when we were registering for common entrance exam, they, this particular candidate wasn't around when they were registering. Maybe the brother may decide to register for him using his own name. But by the time he comes and wants, he, he will, actually will be the one to write the exam using that person's name. But by the, uh, after some time, he want to change the name back to his own name. These are conditions and situations that necessitates change of name. So, so far, what would you say are the effects of these discrepancies in names and documents? Well, um, there are some that, uh, uh, like most of the ones I talked about, some of them may not even reflect on their documents initially or the final document. At the early stages, it may reflect, but Maybe the final document they are going to use outside may not reflect. It, it, uh, change of name though is legal, does not mean you must change your name uh, at every one thing or the other. What is the reason why you are changing your name? Is it that the organization you are working with or the department is asking you to change your name? What is the reason behind the change of name? You can have opportunity in life to change your name at least once. That is the way I believe it. If it's more than once, then you must explain why there should be. Legally also, well, it's, it, it, it's legal for you to change name. Legally also, they should ask you why you can. You are just changing your name from one month to the other or from one year to the other. Okay. Yes. So I still have a couple of questions for you, but we would like to go on a short break where we'll be sampling people's opinion on discrepancies of name on documents as well as change of names. So when we come back, we'll be taking um, Dr. Gala through the remaining questions and then we we'll call it a wrap for today's episode. I won't say, I won't say much, I have experience. Changing of name, it's had much negative effect. In the sense that we will be, almost all Nigerians will be able the same names. So I feel like it should be corrected because most of the time, it should come up like that. To me, it's not good to change them because there are much effects in it. Like for example, when you're in primary school, they'll ask you your son name first before your name. So like for example, my name is Esther Ata. I'm supposed to use Ata first before Esther. Okay, um, good afternoon. I think changing of name is good, especially for the ladies. Probably if I eventually get married now, I have to change my name from my father's name to my husband's name. And again, probably if a woman, if be it a man or a woman, you change your religion from Christian to Muslim or from Muslim to Christian, you have to change name. And I think changing of name is good. The discrepancy here is uh, we have some careless uh, people that uh, from primary school or kindergarten, their name is different from what they obtain in secondary school, what they obtain in tertiary institutions, just like in the case of Bayasa State now. When you look at Bayasa State now, that one is carelessness or criminal. Welcome back. If you're just joining us, it's still your favorite show, Society Matters, on your number one television station, Standard TV. And we have um, Dr. Gan Lasonde in the studio. So, my question is, sometimes the names our parents gave to us are very long in nature. And then when you come in contact, like at the point of registration, maybe Waheg, um, Neko, and maybe, or even in the bank, when you're trying to open up a bank account, the space that are given to fill up these names are not as much as the name. So, do you think the parents are to be blamed for giving us this kind of long name? Or the bank, um, the WAEG, um, uh, the registration centers for providing a small space for these names? Well, uh, I don't think that should uh, constitute a problem in the first place. Uh, if it's longer than the space provided, you could tell them before doing so. And uh, if as a person you feel that your name is too long and you decide to shorten it, the most important thing is that you are consistent. 
on all the documents you have. Okay, so uh, um, can we say that the um, the Baeza, um elect governor that was his vote is um vote was nullified and was prevented from being sworn, sworn in. Can we say um, the lack of consistency in his documents as regards um, the names is what causes um, um, the nullification of the vote? I want to think so. I want to think that is lack of consistency. Because I uh, I overheard somebody from that area trying to defend what has happened because was saying the man is not being accused of forgery what is being accused of is that these names vary but the man was saying that those names you saw are variants of the same name depending on which part of Bielsa you come from and depending on who is it yes if you have one variant, you should be able to tell them this is the variant I want. Because if you are registering for WIAC or registering for any examination and the person registering you decide to do something different, you should be able to bring to the notice of that person, this is the thing that I want. That you should have about four different variants of the same name on different certificates is not correct. It's lack of consistency. I want to give you an example. As a person, the name I born in secondary school was Sunday Simon. Simon was my father's Christian name. When I went to school, up to my form one, form two, form three, form four. But when we are about registering for WIEC, we had an exam master who was so good and told everybody, this is your life beginning from here. The result you are going to get after here becomes your life. Any name you bear from here now, that is the name you are going to bear for life. So that is what I feel. Okay, so finally, what are your advice to those people out there who want to change their name from one name to the other? Or those people that are having discrepancies on the on different of their names on different documents and probably have not really um have the course they have not really passed through maybe any challenge that will necessitate them to change the name what are your advice um, my advice is that we already seen what is happening in the larger society with people uh, uh, with inconsistent names it is better they decide on the name they want to bear, go to the court, swear an affidavit, and do the correcting, publish in a newspaper that, yes, you have been bearing this name all this while. Such names remain okay up to the point you are changed now. By the change of name, all other, other documents will remain okay but this is your name from now henceforth and I, with that support a supporting document from the court you are well to go okay. all right thank you very much sir, for you're welcome. Thank you for your advice and your time you're welcome wow it's really been an educative session on the show today i hope you learned a lot because i learned a lot so my advice to you is that if you're going to change your name like you said be consistent and follow due process because you don't want to pay the um, the cost of having discrepancies of your name and different documents. And with that, we come to the end of today's show. I remain your host, Ariel Madira Ashake. Do keep a date with us. Same time, same station. Bye.